Hi everyone and welcome to the second part of this uh, tutorial which is about um, tr uh, transferring decal, decal from um, a UV to another one f for the same mesh. So in the first part we have, we have seen how to build our system in order to be able to transfer and place the decal uh, according to its UV coordinates um, which allow us actually to to reuse these UV coordinates and to, to use them in another context. So now we are going to see how we can make it work with new UVs. So what we are going to do is to you to load the new map. Of course as you see it doesn't work which is kind of normal because it's not the same UVs. So now we are going to work a bit with the with the bake uh, with the baker which, which hopefully is really fast so what we're going to do is first bake some of the information and it will be transferred texture, texture from mesh which is perfect so first we're going to choose the mesh here from a source and I want the low one and now what we're going to do is first bake a diffuse okay so let's say we can put it bilinear, uh, 248 is fine, override, um, I won't put, I will put sub something by 2, I won't focus that much about the quality of the diffuse, uh, okay, okay, let's go, this one should be fast. Okay, so we have a new folder, a new texture that we are going to apply here. So let's make sure that. Okay, now we have a new diffuse. I can delete this one. The thing is, the decal is not at the proper place because, as we have seen on the old UV, it's here. So, right now, we have a problem. So we are going to continue to bake. What we can do right now is actually to use this map. I think, if I don't make any mistake, um, yeah, actually, that we are going to take this map and bake it, and uh, we'll have a problem. So first, what I'm going, but uh, we are going to see that. So first, what I'm going, I'm going here, and. Um, Make sure I'm okay. Here, so what we're going to do is I'm going to export this map. So I will call it all UV decals. This is from a, an old tutorial, so I'm going to use that. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to remove that, 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 and I can't. So okay, all UV decal. Do I want to replace? Oh, yes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to import this map. So it's all you really can. Hmm. What is it? Okay, here. So I'm going to import it here. Link. And I'm going to do another bake. And here first, be really cautious, you don't want to overwrite existing resource. You, um, actually I think you can live with bilinear, uh, but you don't want any of this. Actually, uh, actually yes, you want it. Uh, anyway, as you will see, we are going to remake it because we will have problem. Apply diffusion force. Uh, bilinear should be fine even because the coordinates will be within the texture so it should be fine anyway I'm going to redo it so in subsampling uh, the better the higher the better so far I'm going to keep it like this but as, as you would see we are going to have a problem so we are going to call it new UV the cars okay so 
So do we have it? Hmm. Yes, this is because I'm stupid. Recording uh, information, override, and if I don't change the texture, of course, it won't help. Okay. So we're going to do it, and one of the problems that we will see is that uh, we we don't bake the alpha, so we're going to have to bake the alpha as well. So, as you see right now, it works well, but uh, the the alpha is uh, made with the mesh and not the what we want. So that's not what we want. So right now, what we're going to do um, is to go here, and here what I'm going to do is I use rescale conversion to isolate the alpha so you put r g b to 0 on the alpha to 1 and from that I'm going to save it as well and I have an old UV mask so that's what we're going to use this I want to replace and I'm going to import this it's a bit repetitive but um, Okay, so if I do, so I have this perfect. So once again, we are going to bake. Once again, don't forget to disable this. Uh, I want it to nearest, and I don't want any dilatation on that. Okay, so sampling should be fine, and I change the texture here from resource all UV mask should be fine. Anyway, once I told you, I should have to redo it. So I call it new UV mask. Okay. Okay. So it's here. So from that, I build. I use a blend map. Oops, not here. Actually, this I have to convert it to grayscale. Okay. So now, if right now I have transferred the UV coordinate to correspond to the new UV set. So if I plug it here, it should put it at the right place. And that's not bad. Uh, actually, it works well, but once again, you see. There is some problem here, here, and here. Um, so this is due to the fact that first, if I go to the here to the blend node, this one, I think if you change the alpha blending and you put straight alpha blending, it helps a bit, but not that much. And actually, the best way I found to 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 fix that is to rethink a bit the way you I build this basically what I'm going to do is instead of um, of projecting just this tiny square I'm going to uh, to to transfer to bake the full UVs so how to do that <coughs> sorry so basically what I do I'm going to duplicate the transform 2d and I'm going to do like that so basically I transfer the full UVs to this position and I'm going to do the same for the mask and now I'm going to rebuild uh, sorry and I'm going to rebuild it with the blend node the exact same mask so that's exactly the same but it's a different way and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to okay, to select this and once again I'm going to replace it here so it will call I'm going to call it all all decals it will be Yes, I want to replace it. 
so it's here, I replaced it here and what I'm going to do is rebake it again um. so I bake uh, the information I don't overwrite from resource all you video and this time I will go to bilinear and I'm going to push the subsampling because it's raising quality. I don't I shouldn't need that anyway because anyway the dilatation appears on on the border of the mesh. So I'm going to uh, new full UV chords. Okay, so it will take a bit longer because I put a big quality. It's not that dramatic, but it should take like uh, that's it. Reason in uh, 30 seconds it should be fine. Uh, why should uh, I do that? Because basically, even as you do a lot of uh, tr transformation and pro and projection and reprojection and plus mass, etc., etc., etc. Uh, you increase uh, the chance of uh, making something wrong and by projecting and baking the full UVs actually it, it gives a, a bit more um, how to say that you you go over the alpha on the border so as you see the mask will just take a full part so but if it goes a bit over everything works so basically right now if I do that here, here you go, so you have it. So it, it took me, as you can see, it's not that difficult, but uh, there is a lot of place where you can have some errors in the in the projection. Here, I think what we can improve as well, if uh, we go in the edit mode, is to make sure this is in nearest, which is good. This could be, in theory, in bilinear. And you see right now you, you get the, the full quality. Why this? You want it in nearest because it's UV coordinates, so you don't want to affect or interpolate the color. Why this is the diffuse, this is the color, so you want to interpolate in some case to make it smoother. So that's it. So basically, we have this UV map that we use to transfer the coordinates of the, uh, of the decal. And once we have done this, we just have to rebake and uh, reproject this map um, from the old UVs to the new one. And uh, you use this map uh, here in order to transfer the UVs, uh, the decal at the proper place. So that's it for this video and this tutorial. So I hope it has been useful for you. Uh, if you have any comment, any question, don't hesitate to put them in the comment. Thanks a lot and have a great day.